Bonjour guys and welcome to my humble abode here in France. This is my current view, very beautiful. So for those of you guys who did not know, I just completed my first tournament on the LET Access Tour this year. It was out here in beautiful Tourette's, France. Sorry if I pronounce any of these names wrong because I don't, I don't speak French, French and I don't know how to pronounce things in French. So yes, I know that my name is French, but I'm not French. <laughs> but yeah, so we played out in beautiful Terre, Terre Blanche, Terre Blanche Golf Resort and it is it has been such an amazing experience this is my first event out here in france um never played golf out here before and the weather was super interesting the practice round it was pretty decent i think it was um double digits at least it was like 15 degrees and then when we went down to the tournament we had zero degrees even sub zero degrees temperatures in celsius so um for me that was cold i think on the third day it was minus two which is the coldest i think i've ever played tournament golf in so that was super fun so today is the final round and right now it's two degrees celsius outside and the real feel is minus two i've got on two um inner wear <laughs> in this jacket so hopefully i'm gonna be warm enough and yeah i'm also wearing two pairs of socks because that's normal right <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall had a wonderful experience. Um, first time, like I said, coming here to play golf and experiencing a French golf course. So it was super beautiful. Uh, not an easy golf course for sure. Slopey greens. Uh, distance wise, it wasn't really long, except obviously when the wind came in, then it did change the course a lot, especially on the second day because it was pretty windy. I think it was like 20, 30 miles an hour. And then in the cold temperatures as well, having to adjust distance wise, because I think you do lose distance when you play in the cold temperature. So having to adjust distance wise with the wind and the temperatures was something else for me. Okay, sorry, I had to restart the audio is choppy. But yeah, obviously I've played in cold weather. I've played in wind before. Um, just that it's been a few months since I've last played in different temperatures different weather and coming from malaysia playing in like 36 degrees every day to like zero degrees that is still quite a big difference and i think sometimes it just takes a bit of adjusting so i'm glad that i was able to come a few days earlier play a couple practice rounds that definitely helped as well um, like i said the practice rounds wasn't as cold but yeah i just think it just takes time to adapt but yeah um I think overall I did a pretty good job at adapting. I think in terms of distance wise and stuff like that, I was able to get it pretty get it down pretty good. Unfortunately I feel like my ball striking wasn't the best this week and that's why I kind of struggled in terms of scoring because I made way too many bogeys. Like I was able to make birdies out there, which I think is super important, but I also made way too many bogeys, which is what really cost me my scores. Um so yeah, I think golf wise I still have a lot of things to work on obviously um like i said still a positive week um a lot to learn um did a lot of good things out there that i can definitely build on as well so yeah all good on that front um i think golf wise like i said it's the first event so i'm looking forward to seeing all different courses throughout the year different countries which is going to be amazing because like i said first time in europe so it's not only we're going to different states like i was in the us or in asia but we're going to different countries so that's going to be awesome to see and experience different european golf courses so in addition to everything that i learned golf wise i thought it would be fun to share three facts that i thought was pretty interesting for my first time here traveling in france so i've been to paris before actually but that was just for a day trip so i've never driven here and one thing I've got to say is French drivers are super aggressive. Like coming from Malaysia, Malaysian drivers are pretty aggressive as well. But I think because the roads here are really small, really windy, we're out in the country. And the French drivers are just super aggressive. They just drive at like 80 kilometers an hour on super windy roads. So that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, took a bit of adjusting to do. And yeah, um, so driving here is pretty interesting. You definitely need to get used to it. The other thing is, I guess this is a pretty European thing in general, but dinners being at 7 o'clock 
it's pretty late for us, especially for golfers, because you know we eat at really odd times. But like restaurants aren't even open till seven. So luckily this week I'm staying in an Airbnb, so I have the option to cook, which is super nice because you know when we have to wake up at like five o'clock, I don't really want to eat at eight o'clock. I'm usually like lying in bed by eight o'clock, so it would be nice to always have a kitchen. I know that's not always going to be an option as well. So yeah, just being aware about that because if you don't know and you're just looking up for restaurants but you have no idea why everything is closed, it's because they don't even open till 7. Um, yeah, and the third fun fact is that everything is closed on Sundays. So even supermarkets are completely closed on Sundays and if you've never been to Asia, like supermarkets are almost open like all the time. So that was a bit of a surprise, something that we definitely needed to know because for instance, if you needed supplies, you can't get anything on Sundays. We couldn't even find a single grocery store that was open. So I think that's definitely an interesting fact. I don't know if this is uh, all over France or all over Europe, but that is definitely something that I thought was pretty interesting. This trip to France, which I've learned and which I will note for future trips. My Airbnb this week also has a pool. Obviously, the temperatures are not ideal to be swimming right now, but I thought that it's super cool. Um, it also has this cute little gazebo. So yeah, I'm actually renting a room in this Airbnb, so we're not having the whole house, but it's such a cute little property and I just think it's so cute and so French or maybe even so European. But yeah, it's, it's so cool. And yeah, just one of the great things about traveling with my dad, at least I have the comfort of being able to stay in an Airbnb because sometimes, you know, if I'm just alone, it might not be the best idea to be staying in somebody's house. So yeah, we'll see. But luckily, because that saved me a whole ton of cash this week, which is awesome. When you're on the road, you just want to save as much as you can because you want to spend it where it matters. For instance, like on the golf, being able to play more practice rounds and stuff like that. Okay, so last but not least, what are my upcoming plans? Because if you guys looked at the LET Access calendar, there's nothing until the beginning of May. So fortunately for me, I actually got into two LET events in Australia. So those are going to be my first full LET event. So I'm super excited for those events. It's the Women's Australian Open and the New South Wales Open. So it's going to be in the end of April. So I have a couple of weeks to go home, practice and get my game up to the standard that I want it to be at, fix the things that I need to fix and continue building on the positive stuff and get ready for Australia. So I'm super excited for that. And hopefully I'll continue to be able to keep you guys updated throughout my uh, journey on tour this year. Um, all brand new countries, I've never played tournament golf in Australia either. So it's gonna be super exciting. Um, yeah, and I look forward to keeping you guys updated on this journey and catch you guys on my next adventure. Thanks guys for continuing to tune in and I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and I'll catch you guys next time. Legistes Barrieris Ophios Unikmen Troch number 17 Le Rio Rio <laughs> Refuge de Fort Merle 